Hello and welcome to Excel assignment 4-3 and for this assignment you are going to have to have three Excel workbooks open. You're going to have to have both of these open and you're also going to have to open a blank screen, blank Excel screen and save it like it says within um, your assignment. So once you have those three open, you can start the assignment. You should have three Excel files open on your system. Oops, sorry, that's work. So once you're in number two, create a new workbook and you're going to save it. And then you're going to copy cells A1, uh, A2. So to, you can take it from either one. To do that, you just highlight them, uh, right click copy, bring it back into your new workbook, and right click paste. Then you are going to key the labels in, um, starting with A3, so I'll let you do that. And we are now on number four. And then, okay, so first of all, when you're linking worksheets, you want to always go into this um, data, and then you want to go to, I'm sorry, you actually want to go to view, then you want to go to range all, and you want to go to vertical. And then that way it puts all three together um, so that there are, so that you're able to view all three worksheets that you're going to work through or with. So you're going to go, uh, you want to, you're going to multiply total dollar sales for a city uh, by uh, 108 percent or 1.08 so you need to use 43a so I know this is 43a oh and real quickly um, make sure that you enabled to work with these worksheets or it's not going to let you um, it might be in protected mode and make sure you go back and make sh uh, enable it if it is in protected mode so for the goal um, formula, we want to do equal, and then we're going to come down here, we're working with Boston, double click that, it's going to put in the formula, make the formula so it knows it's referencing this page, and you're going to multiply this by 1.08. Um, and again, that's just the formula that you need to create. Now, you're going to do the same thing for the rest of the cities, so in order to kind of make it easier for you. You can copy that. Uh, paste options. You can come down here and do formula and then up here you can change this to Chicago. And then smart enough to spell it right um, to go down to Chicago, take Chicago's information and then you can just keep doing that um, all the way down. When you go to paste options, do formula and again you want to put Dallas, and then again you want to do it for Seattle. Perfect. Okay, now for actual you want to go to 43B and you are literally just going to type in equal come over here to um, grab something with me, which I don't want to, but just go to the total amount and just do um, so you just want to have type an equal and double click on this amount and hit enter and it'll just put in that the full amount for you. And again now you can just copy this but again change the city as you go down to Chicago, okay. So for the sake of time, I put in the rest of the information. So now you want to find the difference, and to find the difference, you're just going to put in a formula that takes your actual and subtracts your um, goal. For that one, you have a negative. Don't worry. That just gets you parentheses. That's fine. And now you can copy this formula. Make sure you have that. Uh, take the plus sign 
and bring down the formula. And then for increase, decrease, you want to divide the difference um, by the goal. I'm going to equal that and bring that down. Now, if you have a bunch of um, decimal uh, points or numerals, you want to come over here um, and you want to make it a percentage and have only two spaces after the uh, desk or the period. Okay, um, so now you want to break the links. So you just come up here to data. Oh, excuse me, go under edit links and you can just take one at a time. And then you um, are on number eight. And you can just, I will let you format the worksheet so that it's professional and beautiful. And then you can turn it in. If you have any questions, please ask your instructor.